Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Altmighty Java. In this video, we will see how to integrate Google Recaptcha in Spring Boot. First, open our GitHub page. Click on the repository. I created one sample project called Spring Boot Recaptcha. Click on that. Download this project. Unzip this file. Import this project into Spring Source. Importing Maven project. Imported successfully. Let's run this project. Server started. Let's open this in the browser. So mainly one simple form which contains three basic fields. Add some data. Click on save. So it's redirecting to list page. As you can it's doing very basic things. Just going through all the files. So opening all the files one by one. As you can we added only very basic code. Now let's see how to integrate Google Recaptcha. Search for Google Recaptcha API v2. Open first link. Click on sign up for API key pair link. Now need to register a new site. Click on Recaptcha v2 radio button. Domain so let's add local os. Accept the terms of service and click on register. Here you can see all the steps. Step 1, Client Side Configuration. Paste this snippet before the closing head tag on your HTML template. Let's add this in the head section of AddJSP. Next is paste the snippet at the end of the form where you want the recaptcha widget to appear. Copy this and paste inside form at the end. Client side configuration is done. Let's see recaptcha is coming or not. See it's coming. Now let's add server side configuration. Follow step 2. But before this need to add some changes. First, create a bean for rest template in the application class. Now add required changes in employee controller class. Create a variable for rest template and annotate with auto wired. Now we'll modify save related code so before save now need to verify capture as well. Need to add this URL as a string. Create a new string for params so this string will contain the secret key. But before this need to add request a param for G recapture response. Now let's add secret and capture response and params. Need to create a new class for recapture response. Add three basic variables for success, challenge, and status.
create getter and setter for them. Now let's see how to get recapture response. There is a method in REST template called exchange so using that we will get the response. Let's see how to use that. That's it. So now based on recapture response we'll call appropriate action. Add a simple condition based on the status. So if the status is false then it redirects back to add a page and along with that show some error message as well. So let's create one variable for message. It's very simple. That's it for this class. Now let's add a message and add JSP page. That's it, coding is done. Let's check it's working fine or not. See error messages coming if the captcha is not selected. See it's working. I hope you got the idea. Let's review whatever we added. I committed a code also. You can find this code under Spring Boot Recapture Repository. See it's there. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.